Hey, what is up guys? My name is James and welcome to another edition of the Cura Files. Last week I showed you how to create these temperature towers to find your temperature for the filament. If you haven't seen that video, you can check out the card up here to find out more about it. On this episode, we're going to be creating something very similar to that temperature tower. We are going to be creating a fan tower. This can actually be used also as a temperature tower. We're going to use this tower to find out the best fan speed for this filament. So I hope you guys stick around and watch this video to the end. And go ahead and check out some of my other Kira Files video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click on the notification bell below. And also please share this video with someone who you think might need it. For this fan tower, we're going to use the temperature that we chose uh, when doing the destructive test on the temperature tower. I'm, so I'm just going to add 220 as the printing temperature. And then if you look at the file, it's 125 millimeters in height. And these 5, 10, 15, 20 millimeters, we're going to leave that as is or as a starting point for the, the heated bed. So this is just extra space and extra placement for the heated bed so it does not affect the actual tower. The first real uh, temperature tower test is right here on this mark which is after the 20 millimeter mark. We're going to go to extensions, post processing, modify G code, add a script, and then we're going to change as Z. 5.1.1 experimental. We're going to add 20, 3, 4, 5, 6. And 20. The first uh, change in height is going to be so at 25. So this is going to be all zeros, the fan speed at zero. And then from here, it's going to be added 5%, 10%, 20%, and so forth. So the first change in height is 25, 30, 35, 40. And 120 is the last interval. And so 125 minus 5 is 120, which is the uh, last change right here at 120. And then we're going to go back up. And then the initial fan speed will be set over here. So we're going to leave that. So we're going to go to... Uh, 25 we're going to change the fan speed at 100% is 255 so what we're going to do is get a calculator we're going to get 255 divided by 20 intervals which is 12.75 so the first value is going to be 12.75 we can't use decimals it's actually in whole numbers and as you can see, it's in orange, and that means that it cannot go below a certain value, and that value is 15. So for the first value, we're going to put 15. For the next value, it's going to be 12.75 equals 25.5. Again, we can only use whole numbers, so 26 plus 12.75 equals 38 plus 12.75 equals 51, and so forth. We're going to go down the line.
plus 12.75 equals 255. So at this interval right here, it's going to be 255, and that's 100% fan. So we're going to close this. And then we're going to set the temperature at the uh, the best temperature that we found for this particular filament. And then we're going to enable print cooling, but we're going to do a zero fan speed. So the initial fan speed is going to be at 0%, and each increment is going to up by 5%. We want to use a Z-seam alignment to user specified and the Z-seam position to the back left. Also, we have a line. Also, these uh, these values can vary depending on what settings that you'd like to use for your printer. I have a wall line count of two right now, and an infill density of ten percent. So, what we're going to do is, if you save this as a project and not a profile, uh, what happens is that the next time you open this file, you're going to have all these values included. So just remember to save it as a project. Once you save it as a project, these values will come back. And so we're going to slice it and preview. Uh, pretty much looks good. So what happens is that it starts from this corner starts going across, around, etc. So I'm going to save this as a G code and then I'm going to print this file. So if you take a look at this model, um, if I can get a close-up of this, As you can see, there is warpage when there's no fan to 5% fan, 10. And if I go down, you can see that the actual model, uh, the warpage is reduced and it looks more detailed. So let's go to the back side. And you can see the warpage. So just by looking at the amount of warpage that this uh, model gives, you can kind of gauge where you should put your fan speed. This one looks good around uh, maybe 70. Actually, you can go probably less than that. Um, about 60 65 is okay it looks good to me um, this will depend on you and what you think uh, the value should be but keep in mind that the more fan you use most likely the weaker is going to be so the less fan you use the stronger the actual model and the more fan you use it's going to get weaker but you get the fine details so again this is based on what you value do you value the detail or do you value the strength of the filament or the or the strength of the model and so again this looks about 70 to me looks good and this is the fan speed that i'm going to choose for this model now, of course, there are other elements to this where, depending on the type of filament, you may have different issues like stringing and other issues, but this, I don't think, is going to give me any problems. We can also do a destructive test like this one. 
to check the strength and rigidity of the actual filament. But this should be mainly used to see the warpage on the actual model and determining the fan speed. So guys, as always, I hope you found this video helpful. I will be posting the STL files in the description below. And turn on that notification bell to see the next installment of the Kira files. This is James signing off.